Shares of HIMS and HERS Health in focus following a Q3 earnings beat that saw the online personal care company add a record 174,000 subscribers in the last three months. We're joined now by HIMS and HERS CFO Yemi Okupe. Yemi, great to have you here with us on the program today. And when you think back to this quarter and catalysts for some of the success that you saw in the membership growth, what would you point to? Yeah, thanks a lot, Brad, for, ha for having me. Really, the business momentum is some of the strongest that we've seen. Um, in terms of what's driving the growth, it really is execution across all of our key pillars. Uh, we oftentimes speak to you know, the three things that really power enable the business. Uh, and that really is enabling technology to bring a best in class experience to consumers, um, you know, really with an eye towards removing some of the friction in the ecosystem. And so what we aim to do uh, is make health and wellness more accessible uh, to consumers. And we're really seeing that resonate across the ecosystem with the consumers that we serve. Uh, and Yemi, big call out by the team uh, on the earnings release about uh, achieving adjusted operating profits in that fourth quarter. And you're also mentioning you're seeing significant leverage in the business. Where is that coming from? Has there been a, a restructuring the, in the business at all? No, really, it's what we speak to around just the organic momentum of the business, that the momentum is some of the strongest we've ever seen in our history. So we're adding a record number of subscriptions to the platform. Uh, now we almost have 1 million users on the platform. And what that's driving is economies of scale, where we're getting leverage across a multitude of different areas, um, everything from our operations to uh, the way that we spend. And so really, it's a reflection of the implementation of the rigorous capital allocation framework that we oftentimes point to uh, where we're just seeing very rapid payback periods um, on, on our investments. You, you also raised your guidance and your outlook for the full year of 2022, you know, thinking through the largest trends that you're seeing right now and how they would even continue to hold going into a recessionary environment. You know, where do you kind of position the business in order to withstand any of those pressures? Yeah, it's a great question. Really, we're building a generational brand. And what we do see is that we deal with some of the most emotionally resonant conditions uh, that really touch the lives of so many different people. So whether that's your mental health, uh, sexual health, or hair loss, the way that you look and, and feel every day, uh, we're fundamentally helping and enable consumers to look and feel their best. Um, and so I think as a result of that, we're tapping into such a large market opportunity uh, that I think that that's able to transcend many of the macroeconomic factors you know, that are going on out there. And so really, we do believe that we have the ability to serve an individual in every household. Um, so whether you know, you're dealing with hair loss, uh, that's not necessarily top of mind for me, um, or skincare in you know, the anti-aging process, there's so many different things and ways that we can touch consumers. And that's really showing up in the results that we're seeing. I saw what you did there, Yemi. We all picked up on it. Well done. Well done, sir. I, 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 was on, I was on your website this morning, and when did you guys get into to sex, sexual health products, and, and what else? what's the next frontier in that market for you? Yeah, really what we're trying to do is destigmatize conditions that have traditionally been um, you know, stigmatized. And so you know, the sexual health platform has been actually one of our longest tenured uh, offerings. You know, we started with uh, men's sexual health in uh, erectile dysfunction. Uh, and have since brought in the offering, uh, not just in sexual health, uh, but also across a multitude of categories that impact how consumers look and feel about themselves each day. Yemi, one of the other areas that we've continued to track over the course of this year that, it, that is certainly perhaps in the minds of some Americans as they do head to the ballot is reproductive rights. And hers is one of the parts of the business that, that does have a product that directly correlates to either family planning or sexual health uh, for women. You know, how do you look across the midterm elections even right now and what may be going through Americans' minds and really kind of annex your own business and, and what you're seeing more broadly in the, not just the market environment, how you engage with consumers and, and where you believe that they may actually, you know, place some of their intentions with regard to matters that impact your business as well. Sure, uh, we, we definitely have recently seen an uptick in the interest, um, you know, for contraceptive services across the, the first platform. Uh, really what we enable to do, again, is just remove friction from whatever consumers are, are interested in. And so, you know, we believe that the brand that we have and the experience that we have is able to transcend a multitude of different political environments. But we are closely watching and monitoring uh, what consumers are actively seeking from us. In a recession, have you, have you stress tested the business? What happens to subscriptions if we get a mild recession? 
Yeah, I think that what we've seen thus far really is that the overall business model is largely resistant. And what we see is you know, we serve some of the conditions that impact uh, the way that consumers look and feel about themselves each day. And so as a result of that, uh, we are seeing you know continued interest um, and we you know throughout a multitude of macroeconomic conditions, we've you know been able to uh, continue to deliver a strong performance. And we're confident that you know, based upon the overall experience that we provide across our platform, we'll be able to do that in any type of macroeconomic environment.